talking about chilling out, uh, I won't talk about this quickly. Recently, the other, or oh, yeah, just this past weekend actually, DVS One actually played um, in Panorama Bar of all places, right? I wasn't there unfortunately. I really wish I could have been there, but I do have some clips I managed to pull from various random Instagram accounts, um, you know, during over the weekend with some clips of some of the housey stuff that he was playing, and I'm just wondering aloud in general. If this is a weird natural reaction, DVS1 again, as you can see at Panama Bar, um, the lineup was Arm, Marcel Dietman, Danielle, and Baukhalmer, who's one of my favorite residents there, um, Hiroko Yama Yamamura, DVS1, and Dinky, right? So a very house centric lineup and you see dvs1 there who definitely isn't somebody that you describe as house he's definitely main room bergheim big you know um over your head banging fucking techno tracks four decks you know mixing in and out going fucking crazy absolutely amazing dj somebody that i think definitely lives up to the hype i've seen him perform three times here in london i think over the time i've been around and obviously once in berlin and i definitely can say he definitely does live up to the hype like he's absolutely incredible and obviously a super intelligent and smart dude and has some really good um opinions once it comes to the scene and whatnot but i was confused when i saw his lineup or saw him listed on panorama bar obviously it helps that he's a resident there so i'm assuming when you're a resident you probably get asked maybe to help out hey we've got a slot for panorama bar at a certain time can you do it and they may ask you and then it could be a chance for you to maybe pivot but i'm also wondering because devious ones had some very interesting opinions about festivals about the scene about techno becoming commercialized i wonder if this is like a purposeful pivot in the same way that Etep Kyle did it, right? Etep Kyle, um, the guy that's married to the other DJ, Daria something, I forgot her surname, please forgive me. But I remember he made a very purposeful post, actually. Actually, it might still be on his Instagram, where he essentially said that he is changing from his regular style, which I wouldn't even call it only techno. He was a bit of a, what we were describing, or what people describe in a DJ world as a multi-genre DJ. In the UK or in London, we don't really have that, to be fair. I don't really think we have even genres. I think outside of maybe Tech House and maybe EDM, I think a lot of the DJs that occupy, like, I don't know, what would you describe Ben UFO as? He's not really... I don't. I don't think he's, he's he's got really a genre, and I think most UK DJs or London DJs are kind of of that ilk. That might be because of our, you know, backgrounded with kind of radio and stuff. That might be the reason why we kind of um, have that kind of outlook. Um, but I think in general we're very you know open to just playing whatever genres we want to play. So maybe in other places like Berlin, that's not really a thing. So you have to kind of really make it clear to people, hey this is the pivot that i'm making i'm going to be playing this type of stuff so if you remember i think again this is in september right so as the post as you can see here etip car in september made this statement on his flipping instagram with a nice little post as well when a dior tears t-shirt and obviously for um showing off the fucking lineup as well that he was on but in the caption he read the following dear friends i'm closing um Berghain, sorry i'm closing panorama bar this weekend for the first time and opening a new chapter in my musical journey as it looks like you'll be uh, catching me playing upstairs more often from now on smiley face the past eight months have been quite transformative as i hit a mental wall last year which was a challenge but much needed lesson the thing is as a dj i've always wanted to selection to be guided by to be guided not by genre bpm or scenes but simply by the music that resonates with me i know that sounds obvious in a way however when you become associated with a specific musical style which in my case is techno, it can be very difficult to have a confined, sorry, it can be difficult to have confidence to play with the complete freedom, especially when appearing on lineups uh, that are heavily one genre orientated. To be completely honest, I've been struggling with the tension for a good five years now. On one hand, feeling blessed to have so many opportunities to play music around the world. On another hand, I couldn't fully express myself as an artist due to the these associations for which I truly take full responsibility. I thought that if I start to decline bookings, I might end up playing not at all and also um, seemed ungrateful um, that I have been given. So let me tell you again, I, I completely botched that. He said, I thought that if I started to decline bookings, I might not end up playing at all, which also seemed ungrateful considering what I've been given. Basically, I was driven by a fear in the space I initially entered out of my love for music. I've always, I'll always be grateful for everything the techno scene and the people I've worked with have given me. However, I can only rely on my inner voice to navigate through life. Therefore, I've been taking more profound step by saying no to most techno oriented bookings requests to focus on the thing that I occur to spend more time in the studio. 
Anyone who has heard my recent sets in the final set, in, a, in the right setting, knows that I play across the board as much as possible. And I just want to say that moving forward, this will be my aim as a DJ. I aspire to explore all the incredible music that's out there and share it with you. I want to sincerely thank um, Berkai and Ostergut for supporting me and this and everything the club has given me over the years. See you on Sunday. Much love, S. So I love this statement from him. And it's funny because I remember... There was a period where I think he was talking about being depressed and stuff. I wonder if that was part of it as well. That's fucking crazy, right? If like the the you know the 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 inner turmoil that he was going through to kind of re, you know discuss or to kind of figure out what his sound was was even driving him to the point of depression. That's how you know he's really about this life. But I would also remember there was various posts on Bergheim subreddits and other subreddits as well that when he played recently, actually specifically in Berlin, Bergheim, the last few months before he made this statement, people were surprised that he was playing a lot of house stuff and it was kind of clearing the dance floor. And a lot of people were kind of getting upset. But this now makes sense what he was basically trying to do. He was trying to be true to his intentions or true to his dreams and what, he's, what he tried to aspire to now going forward. And he wanted to make that complete hard pivot. And it's, 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 it's upsetting in the fact that he has to make this statement in the first place you can't just be a dj and play what you want but i guess in berlin it's a bit different because you know of course nightlife there is a serious industry people take stuff very seriously they take their art very seriously they approach djing very seriously so maybe if that's the case the audience is also very serious so you have to kind of give them a heads up and let them know that hey i know you expect a certain sound from me but artistically musically i'm in a different type of mode different type of feeling and i want to go in this direction i'm letting you guys know now to give you a heads up if you don't want to go in this direction with me i understand but this is where i'm going so i kind of get where he's going with that kind of idea of kind of moving things forward in that direction 